today's video. Today we're going to be, be doing, I'm going to be doing today my own season kickoff show, or my own preview show for my own Monster Jam 2022 season. Warning guys that this is just, this is for my own thing, this is not based on real life, this is my own tours with my own Spin Master and Hot Wheels Monster Jam trucks. But let's get started. But first off, I'm going to tell you guys that uh, we're going to recap last year. Last year we had seven different tours. I used the Lucky Roulette. I took all the drivers that competed in 2020, put them all into the Lucky Roulette, and I made my own tours. Seven new tours. Seven tours. And your winners from all the tours are listed right here. On Stadium Championship Series Red, Neil Elliott would dominate the competition and win. Barely edging out Matt Pagri, Ludo, and Jester. Dirt. Neil had a really good year. Unfortunately, that was and that was the last tour he would ever compete on, and since he's retired now. So Neil Elliott, Elliott getting his last ever tour win last year. And it was really good. Good as he won 2015 FS1 Championship Series. Um, he didn't win anything in 2016. Didn't win anything in 2017. Didn't win 2018. Did not win in 2019 or in 2020. So this is his only. This is like his own second tour win ever since 2015. Next up, we have Ryan Anderson to go on to dominate Stadium Championship Series Green. Edging out both, both his brother Adam Anderson and Cynthia Gautier in Monster Mutt Dalmatian, where he would get the win on that tour. Next up, Tyler Meningo would go on to win Triple Threat Series West. Appearing up against this is one of the most competitive stacked tours. He had to compete up against people like um, Colton Eichelberger, Tristan England, and... Lindsay Reed. It was a really competitive tour, but Tyler Menegan was able to pull it out, getting another ch championship series win. Next up on the Triple Threat Series Central would have Barlow Sauer taking the win. Taking that win over Brandon Vincent and Gravedigger. It was a good tour where Barlow Sauer worked hard and he got finally his first series win. Next up, we'd have Randy Brown and Gravedigger, who would win the Arena Championship Series. Randy Brown would win over guys like Matt Cody and Armando Castro. Getting an, adding another win to the series. Maybe he'll be in the TBA. Maybe he'll be competing next year. Maybe try to get another one. Who knows? Then next up on Stadium Series Yellow, we would have Heavy D and Brodozer coming out with the win. Beating people like Tom Manson, Max D, John Zimmer, and Dragon. Even Mike Vodders in Black Stallion had a good year. And Total Duke and Monster Energy. Brodozer had a really good good year. He started off the year really good at, with the overall win in San Diego. Lastly, the Triple Threat Series East winner would be Justin Sykes and Megalodon. We did have Tristan England and Adam Anderson help, help him get some points on that tour. Beating Christian Anderson and Gravedigger. So, yep, that was it for the recap of these tours. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with my PowerPoints. They're going, they're being a bit confusing. Huh? Okay, finally. Yeah, sorry guys, sorry as these technical difficulties are recording off PowerPoints. It can be a bit weird at times. And technical difficulties. But next up, let's move on to recap the Monster Jam World Finals from last year. From this year. World Finals 22 would take place during the summer. Even though we didn't have some technical difficulties with theme songs, we were able to see Colton Eichelberger and Max D take home the racing win, defeating Colton Art in the Black Pearl in the final round, getting given Colton a one being giving Colton his first ever Monster Jam World Finals vic victory, World Finals Championship. After coming really close in 2016 against Barry Musauer in freestyle. Next up, up in the freestyle competition, now being a three-time World Finals champion, is Todd Duke in Monster Energy. We actually did get his freestyle win on film. Film, and we have it on film on my YouTube channel. You can go check it out. Oh, but Todd, he worked hard and finally got, got another championship. The first time ever since 
he won his racing championship back in 2016. Next up would, would be the finale event at Grandma and Grandpa's house. Oh, it's the next big thing. Then my grandparents getting older, it's been harder for them due to their dementia. Go to, like, hold events at their house, so we decided to do one last final event. And that event, we had, had Brian Anderson taking home the Monster Energy Racing Competition win, beating out in the final round against Todd LaDuke in Monster Energy. Brian would go on yet again to win the Skills Challenge. Unfortunately, Brian Anderson could not triple down and get a perfect run, as Jim Kohler and Avenger would come home and take the freestyle win. And then lastly, Ryan Anderson would come home with the overall event championship with 53 points. Next up, the next big thing would be the Monster Jam All-Star Challenge. This is a lack of drivers. This may be the final All-Star Challenge we do unless they do it again next year. Here, in real life. So, but Kristen Anderson would come home and take on the three-lap racing, defeating Cole Bernard in the Black Pearl in the final round. Cole Bernard would crash and that would would be the end of him and it, and it would lead to Kristen Anderson taking home that win. And in the best shirt competition, we have Heavy, we had Heavy D, Ian Brodozer come home with a win. With being Heavy D's probably best year monster jam probably ever, ever since he, ever since he started competing in 2018. With his nice bicycle, we'll sidewall save into a wheelie and another bis a bicycle crash Crash save into a moonwalk. Heavy D would take on that skills win. Skills win, even though he tied with Tom Mentz, since Heavy D got that 10.000 first, he would beat Tom Mentz and Max D Fire. And then in one lap racing, we would have Kristen Anderson and Gravedigger taking it again in Gravedigger Ice. Kristen barely won. won b barely won. Ta if if Tala Duke had not ended up Go, getting a late start, Todd the Duke probably would have won that racing. Kristen Anderson, in having probably her best year in Monster Gym, and this year with, with how good she has, she has two stadium freestyle wins, two stadium, and then winning the All-Star Challenge, having a World Finals appearance, and a second place finish on Triple Threat Series East. This would be a really good year for Kristen Anderson in a few arena overall event championships. This would be really good for Kristen Anderson in her season. And then in BKT Tires Freestyle, we would have Heavy D and Brodos are coming out and winning it with a lot of backflips. A four momentum one over the Monster Energy backflip ramp, a failed mini flip attempt, two other back, three other backflips from the front backflip thing. It would be a really good freestyle. But the overall event champion would go to Colvinard in the Black Pearl. And also, um, with the winner being Team Ice, getting the win for the third year in a row, edging out Team Fire by only one point. So next, so here's that's the end of the recap, and so now, celebrating 30 Monster, the Monster 30th anniversary, we're going to talk about the three different formatted events that we'll be seeing, that we'll be seeing our Monster Trucks drive on, that we'll be getting for the debut, finally. For the first to debut next year, we have the Monster Dirt Arena. We also have events on a pool table and on Monster Jam Steel Titans 2. Let's break them down and how points will be calculated. First up, the pool table. The pool table points standings will be here's how we will do the pool table events and how points will be calculated. Since the points will be calculated kind of different for each. Now, on the pool table, we will be and also some of the judging that we may be seeing. On the pool table, or for racing, how the racing will be counted as towards points is the the pool table will mainly be for the stadium shows, for the two stadium tours. How the points will be calculated in racing thing is um, the racing will be based off of the order they finish in. Now, like, let's say say here we have Jamie Garner in Overboard versus Colt Bernard in the Black Pearl in the first race. Colt Bernard wins, Jamie Garner will get one point since he was the first one out. Second race, Tom Mentz and Max D versus Lindsey Reed and Scooby-Doo. Tom Mentz wins, goes to the next round, Scooby-Doo loses, you'll get two points, since there's the second one to get out. Okay, third race, Christian Anderson and Grey Digger versus Jim Kohler and Avenger. Jim Kohler wins, Christian Anderson gets three points, so forth and so on. For the two-wheel skills challenge will be judged 
by will be judged by me. Each hit will have a total of five points you can you can get for. You can even include one donut, but you can but you cannot hit anything else else other than a a donut. But for the skills challenge, on each hit will be counted towards five points. Like let's say uh, Adam Anderson has a really cool bicycle into a moon wall, they may score a five for his first hit. It will be out of five per hit. Okay, but then let's say for a second hit, Adam Anderson tries for a stopping but barely gets the pop and he'll get a one. They would combine the scores from both of that, so Adam Anderson's score would be a six. Times that by four, four, and then he would get a get a twenty-four. The highest score where he can get is a ten, is the ten on both hits, and then get a forty, being the highest score you can get. For freestyle, would be a bit different, as the freestyle, as for the freestyle competition, you. It will be, I'll have somebody else judging since I'm not the best at judging freestyle. So, so we'll have someone else come in and judge freestyle. Probably going to be my parents and they'll come in and judge the freestyle competition. Don't worry, they're professionals so no one will get scammed. They'll come in and judge the freestyle. They'll rank the freestyle from anywhere from a 0 to a 40. If they do not finish their very first 30 seconds, 30 seconds they will get a 0. And, yeah, and that's how the points will be calculated. Monster Jam Steel Titans 2. Now, this one will be working a bit differently. For Monster Jam Steel Titan, Titans 2, for the racing and how points will be calculated, it's going to be based off of racing times in each round. Like, let's say in round 1, in round 1, in racing at Covenard versus um, Jamie Garner, Overboard loses with a time of a 16.05. And then we have Max D versus Scooby Doo. Scooby Doo loses with the time of a 17.8. And then we have um, Chris Anderson versus Jim Kohler. Chris Anderson loses with a 18.7 and 5 as a time. And then we have um, and then we have uh, lastly to go we have Monster Energy versus Corey Rommel and Rage. Rage loses with a 14.5. Five, zero. So whoever had the fastest racing time from that round would get four points, and then second place would then then the person with the next fat. And so it'll be based off rounds. Um. So so in the final round, whoever wins will get the twelve points or the eleven points. In the case of the arenas, the eight points or the seven points. So that is how it's going to work. That's how it's going to work with points total for the skills challenge. The judging will be fan judging based off the two hits these drivers get. Then lastly for freestyle. Now sometimes in freestyle, so I see even on the hardest difficulty, it can still be pretty easy to get a 10. So if somebody gets a 10, like let's say Monster Energy goes out, goes out early, he gets a 10.00. But then let's say Son of a Dick comes out comes out later and he does better he gets a 10.00 but he did a better job than he he did he had a better run than Todd LeDuc. So Ryan Anderson's score would then be a 10.001. Then let's say Adam Anderson goes out and Adam Anderson goes out and he does better than better than Ryan Anderson and he deserves the higher score and he also had a 10.00 then it's going to be 10.002. So forth and so on. So that's how the judging will be working. Then last up, the Monster Dirt Arena is really going to just be the same for the pool table, but just for the arenas. The donut competition um, will be calculated nearly the same as the skills. We calculate the donut between a 0 and 10, times that by 4, and then... And we'll see what the uh, score turns out to be for the donut competition. Skills will work the exactly the same way of judging of how we do on the pool table. Same with racing. So, yeah, it's pretty much the same as pool table, but for just um, an arena. Next up here, here, and since this is now Monster Jam's 30th anniversary of me doing this stuff, it's up here on my pool table. It's been, it's been a definitely wild ride uh, from, like, like, my, my score mock jam and what I've been doing on the pool table has evolved a lot. From just playing, just from playing on small ramps, 
Hands on the ground, Grave Digger is going and doing small events in like a bush plant, plant at the park, to now having fully big jumps and evolutionized the skill with many different things. You, things like such as stoppies and backflips, being involved in this, and bicycles. It's an, it has really, really evolved a lot. And from just playing with this, making uh, my own track out of like crush cars in in the big bedroom, and in, in the um, bedroom, in my bedroom, and so it's been, um, it's, it's evolved a lot, while well, it's come a very, very long way. We cannot wait to celebrate these 30 years of, the, the, these 30 years of Monster Jam on my pool table, and, and 30 years of my event, and to even getting it on, doing it on video games, now I said there's still Titans. Next up, we're going to meet our first stadium tour. If you can remember, I did my own 2022 schedule announcement. Well, some of these lineups have changed. And we have Tyler Manning for this lineup. We have Tyler Manning and Grave Digger, Barton Sauron, Zombie, Charlie Poppin and Monster Hut, Ryan Anderson and Simon Digger, Camden Murphy and Bakugan Dragonoid, Caleb Blood and Soldier of Fortune, Corey Rummel and Megalodon, Craig Champion and El Toro Loco, Jim Cole and Avenger, Crescent Perez and Axe, Mike Christensen and Vendetta, and Paul Jensen in Jurassic Attack. One of the changes on this tour is that Adam Anderson and Bryce Kenny have been swapped out for Ryan Anderson and in Tyler Meninga. And we have Colton Eichelberger be swapped out with Barry Musauer and Chris and Preston Perez is subbing in for Chris Kohler. Why some of these changes are made, made and Colton Eichelberger, guys, is no longer going to be competing next year in Monster Jam. So unfortunately, He's not going to be competing Monster Jam next year. Why this is, who knows? Maybe it was because of a social media post he, he posted and a, he ended up kind of getting canceled and he kind of got fired. Or and another rumor that's most likely plausible is that he just had a kid, so it's going to be tough on him and maybe text take, take the next year off to spend time with this kid. With, with this kid, so um, Barry Musar was coming in to fill in for him. It's nice to see Barry back in a stadium tour for next year. Chris Kohler is going to be getting out of Axe because he's in his senior year, year of college, so he's going to prioritize, prioritize school over Monster Gym. Again, so President Perez will come in and compete. This is a really stacked tour tour here. I cannot wait to see who gets to come out here and, and win this. Charlie Palkin is back in Monster Mutt. But this tour is going to be It's going to be really competitive here. And this will be also making some stadium debuts for some of these drivers here. Stadium tour debuts here, and for drivers like Caleb Blood, Cor um, Caleb Blood, Craig Champion, and Preston Perez, and Paul Jensen have never competed on any stadium tours before. Quick, Caleb Blood has been in some stadiums, stadium events. Has been in some stadium events like showdown competitions. So it's going to be interesting. Craig Champion had a chance to drive with Brutus in San Antonio last year. And Chris and President Perez has not gotten any stadium experience here. And it's also the debut. Paul Jensen has some time. has had time in stadiums. So this is his first time being on a stadium tour. But it's going to be interesting here. Well, let's see what the schedule is coming up. And so guys, we're also going to get to meet one of our drivers here on this tour. Being Barry Musauer. Barry Musauer, I get to know some history about him in my world finals. In my world finals of how he is competing, he started off, uh, he started competing in my world finals in 2013 driving Spider-Man. He did okay, he didn't really finish anywhere near the top in racing or in freestyle. So he had an okay first debut here in the world finals. But come back a year later in 2014 to drive Spider-Man yet again. We do a bit better in racing and freestyle was just about the same. In 2015, he had come out and had a new ride for the World Finals. Instead of driving the old Spider-Man, he'll come out and he would come out to drive Zombie. He would do okay, he would do okay in racing and he would do pretty decent in freestyle. Uh, but then in 2016, Barney Sauer came back out again in Zombie. But this time, we were at Grandma and Grandpa's house for a World Finals. It's two of my World Finals have taken place at Grandma and Grandpa's house, being World Finals 16 and then World Finals 17, being the years 2015-2016. 
Barney Sauer in, in, in that World Finals in 2016. He would take home the freestyle win, and win freestyles, he had some humongous air during the freestyle competition. And also for this year, he was also driving the McDonald's Toy Zombie, which helped him get some nice big air. Big Aaron would win the freestyle competition. The next year, year 20, 2017, Barney Sauer, Barney Sauer would do okay in the show. He would come back out here in 2018. He'd have a pretty nice freestyle performance. And he did okay in racing that year as, as well. Then the next year, here's something else would happen. In 2019, Barney Sauer would get an updated paint scheme to he was riding the zombie, driving the zombie fire truck. And also, we have the elevated starting line. Barney did pretty, did pretty good in racing. Good in racing, he didn't win, and he had a pretty nice freestyle performance. Then the next year, we'd, he'd be back in the regular zombie at the World Finals, but this time he'd be on Steel Titans. He'd have a really hard time in freestyles, he'd get a really low score. Scoring, he wouldn't do that good in racing. Barney Musa would come back out the next year in the World Finals on Steel Titans 2 here in 2021. He would unfortunately lose in round 1 in racing. And he was able to, to do okay in freestyle. We'll let him see what Barney Musa will do next year and see if he can get into the World Finals. And see if he can somehow maybe try to get a win off of this stadium tour. But it's not going to be easy for him. Him starting to drive, he started driving in RCs coming here to Monster Jam. This tour isn't going to be easy. Then getting with guys like Tyler Meninga, um, one of his rivals from the Arena Tours, tours as well as having as well as having other guys on there like Ryan Anderson, Jim Kohler, Charlie Pawkin, Camden Murphy. It's going to be it's going to be a tough time for Barney Sauer. We'll see if he can pull it off though. Now next up, let's get to meet one of our first first of the three arena tours, being Arena Series Central. This tour would have on this tour Kristen Anderson and Grave Digger, Tony Oaks and Soldier Forge Black Ops, Elvis Lannis and El Toro Loco, Blake Ranger Maxi, Zach Garner and Wildside, John Zimmer Jr. and Terminal Velocity, Mark Hall and Raminator, and Kirk Kramer in Ramunition. So on this tour, some of the changes that were made is that now, Bormu Sauer was, well, was swapped out of this tour for Blake for the Maxi with Blake Ranger. And Blake Ranger would replace Colton Eichelberger. Colton would possibly take care of his newborn son son right now. Um, it's gonna, we're going to have to see how... See here, Team Maxi still going to get on without him here and do pretty good with both Tom and Blake. We'll see if they can get into the World Finals. This would be another year of return for the Hall brothers on a tour, or in, the, in, in an arena tour. I will miss Raminator and Ramunition being in the stadiums, but okay. Zach Bonner will be back in Wildside. I have a John Zimmer Jr. in Terminal Velocity. John Zimmer Jr. Jr. here, younger son of John Zimmer and the old driver of Shock Therapy, Amzul Shock Therapy and Dragon. will come out, out here, he'll try to... Represent, and he's got some big shoes to fill under, under his father. It's going to be nice. It's going to be nice to see Blake Granger back at it. Elvis Land is back in El Toro Loco. Did good and great for Small Four last year. We'll see what he can do. This tour is a pretty much a bunch of young guns here, with the exception of Mark Hall. Mark Hall, he's a bit more of a veteran here at this sport than all of these. We'll see who will win. Will the veteran Mark Hall win and defeat all the young guns? Or will the young guns defeat Mark Hall? We'll have to see if it's on who will win this tour in the coming in in the uh, coming in the coming months. Next up here, I'd like to talk about now that it's now on uh, next year's going to be the 40th anniversary of Grave Digger. It's really exciting to get to see Grave Digger celebrate its 40th anniversary. Grave Digger's had a lot. Has had a lot to do in my world in my events. Grave Digger has many championships here. Here it's got a few wins in the All Star Challenge. Like it has um, Ryan Anderson with with some racing wins in the All Star Challenge, as well as Christian Anderson, and as well and Adam. All through the Anderson, 
Austin family has all ended up getting at least one win in the All-Star Challenge. Ryan has um, four racing wins, Kristen has two racing wins, and Adam has a best trick competition win. But these four years of Grave Digger, there's also, Grave Digger's gotten a lot of um, World Finals Championships. Dennis Anderson having four of them, and, and Adam Anderson having one, and Ryan Anderson having four. Grave Digger has also gotten some tour championships as well. With, and within 2016, Adam Anderson, Cole Bernard, and Morgan Kane winning some of the triple the um, triple threat series and and um, the um, FS1 championship series. So Grave Digger's got a lot of wins here. Dennis Anderson, of course, the founder of Grave Digger. Bad to the he's been bad to the bone. Drove for 35 years. And he had to retire after um, an injury he had in Tampa. But it's gonna, it's gonna be really exciting to see our 40th anniversary of Grave Digger. Now next year, 40th anniversary of Grave Digger. We are right now getting to see some some of the ball. Let's see some of the body designs. All these drivers are gonna be running for Grave Digger next year. First up, we have Tyler Meninga, who's going to drive the purple. He'll bring back the purple 30th anniversary Digger. Adam Anderson will bring back. The green 30th Grave Digger. Kristen Anderson is going to bring back the Grandma Grave Digger. This is going to be interesting for Kristen Anderson. Is this chassis is completely different from the Grave Digger chassis she's driven on Spin Master? It's going to be different. She's driving non BKTs. This chassis is definitely really different here. here. We'll see if Kristen can overcome this here driving this Grave Digger. A TBA driver spot will get to run the 40th anniversary body. And lastly, Brandon Vincent will get to will get to use this the black 30th anniversary grave digger. Brandon now now Gears, this is right now kind of undecided because right now Gears, I currently I own pretty much all of the other grave diggers I need. Need like I can make the 40th anniversary grave digger custom. I'll make a custom of that as soon as I can. Um, after when we get some more updates on the truck so I can actually make a custom out of it. But I did not have this. I did have this on my Christmas list this year. If, we'll see if we can get it this year for Christmas. But if we did not get this truck in time for the season next year, Brandon Vincent will just maybe either temporarily for the full season drive the 25th Chrome Grave Digger. The Silver Anniversary Chrome, Chrome Digger from the 25th Anniversary. And also another rod, another truck getting a new update paint scheme is Lucas Oil. Lucas Oil Crusader ran from 2011 to 2021. The truck did the truck did really good with the Lucas Oil Crusader name. Lucas Oil Crusader was able to get into The truck was able to get into 21 World Finals. The truck made 21 World Finals appearances. It is here with, with Lindsey Wink behind the wheel of all of them. The Lucas Oil truck even has has had two two championship series wins. Lindsey Wink won the truck truck win in FS1 Series East in 20 in 2017, and then won. And then won the uh, Stadium Series, Stadium Championship Series three in 2018. Now Lindsey Wink, we don't know what's happened to him, but now with a new Lucas Oil sponsorship being renewed, new year we have Cynthia Gauthier taking on it here, here driving the Lucas Oil Stabilizer. This is going to be a brand new truck here. This truck looks really good here. And I cannot wait to probably I'm gonna try to get a salvager for Christmas. Cover that up, and then Cynthia Gautier can drive her new ride here on the Lucas Oil Stabilizer. It's going to look good. You fans better be excited. Now let's meet the last of, let's meet another one of our arena series. Series, this is time for the East. We have a TBA driver for Gravedigger, Cody Sosier and Dragon, Random Hunted Whiplash, Armando Castro and Otor Loco, Chad Tingler and Stonecruncher, and a TBA for Hooked. Right now, some changes on this tour include the TBA Grave Digger driver being moved from the West Tour or down to the East Tour. Tour. We also have now Cody Sosier a driving Dragon, and then we also have we also have Brandon Vincent and Bernard Light being swapped onto the West Tour, or with 
the TVA, Gravedigger Driver, and Armando Castro being swapped to this tour. This tour is right now looking very good, and also the Ice Cream Man and FTI tour have been removed from the tour, so it's going to be... So we'll see what those two spots will be. Who knows what they'll be. Maybe they'll be obsessed in wild card, card, or maybe it'll be bad news travels fast, and maybe toxic, or wasted nights. Who knows what that could be. Hey, who knows, maybe, um, Recreation or Excalibur will come back here and compete in here. I don't know, but it's going to be interesting to see here. Right now, it's towards interesting because this will be the revival of Dragon. Dragon Beard's Remember John Zimmer behind the wheel? Behind the wheel, we didn't know what was going to happen to the trucks and John Zimmer was an announcer. Cody Associates here to revive the name the name of Dragon here. It's going to be exciting to see Cody Associates behind the wheel of that Dragon truck. Truck here and Chad Tingler and Stone Crusher are here. Stone Crusher in the previous World Finals last year and in this year in 2021 won World Finals. Steve Sands ended up winning the showdown and got his name into the World Finals. Unfortunately, Sims is not competing this year. Chad Tingwood is looking to continue on the revival of Stone Crusher in the World Finals. We'll see if he can get that automatic bid here. Bid here and try to get into the World Finals to keep the Stone Crusher revival in the World Finals going. And we'll see what will happen, happen here on this tour. It's going to be interesting. Next up, let's move on to our last tour, the Arena Tours, the West lineup. This lineup will include Brandon Vincent, Gravedigger, Tristan England, Nurse Shaker, Bernard White, and Megalodon, Miranda Coza, and Scooby Doo, Jeff Souza, and Rock and Roll Web, Red, David Olfer, and Jurassic Attack, Travis Mare, and Extreme Attitude, and Kaylin Miguez, and Jailbird. Some, some changes into this tour is the TVA Gravedigger Driver and Armando Castro. Uh, were swapped out in replacement for Brandon Vincent and Bernard White. Mar Lindsay Reed would be replaced for Miranda Kozad. Wrecking Machine would be replaced with Rockwell Red. And Jeff Souza will be behind the wheel. This tour is going to be very interesting because I cannot wait to see this tour get underway. Well, you see the unfortunate Leave Villain Invasion. It's going to be exciting to see Bernard White represent the Megalodon. I have no idea what happened to Lindsay Reed. I don't know. Uh, but it's going to be nice to see Miranda Kozad come back and return. And Miranda Kozad has won the Triple Threat Series West one time on 2019. She actually has one tour win. It's nice to see Kaylin Miggas be back in Jailbird for, for the first time ever since 2018. It's nice to see Travis Mare back in the tours here. And we have not seen him drive ever since he drove Zombie in 2018 on Stadium Series 3. It's nice to see Jurassic Attack back. And it's nice to almost see another truck almost like added to the Soldier of Fortune kind of like family here. with Rockwell Red. Red, since Soldier of Fortune and Soldier of Fortune Black Ops honor all the men and women who fought in our army. Rockwell Red's going to represent that kind of almost join the family of those three. Next up here, we're talking about the impact of Gravedigger. Gravedigger had a huge impact on our sport and on my sport here. Great bigger, it's had a huge impact, and we cannot wait to celebrate the 40th anniversary. When Bat to the Bone comes on, on the speakers, and you just feel excited. You know something's about to happen. Your hairs are sticking up on your body. You feel this chill in the air. Air? Ah, oh, there's a chill in the air. You see, I made a Truth or Square reference in here. And then anyway, with this Great Bigger coming back, and with Gravedigger with this 40th anniversary, everybody's excited. Everybody cannot wait to see Gravedigger attack the track here for the 40th anniversary. It's really impacted the sport. None of us would be here, here if it weren't for Gravedigger. I wouldn't be doing this. Nobody, I wouldn't be doing these events. Mothship wouldn't even be existing. And, and so we're really happy for Dennis Anderson. And thank you for these 40 years of Gravedigger. I hope we can do another 40. I hope the Grave Digger name remains around until I die. It will hopefully be at 100 years old, so, yeah. Next, I'm going to meet one of our last tours here, Bing, Bing Stadium Championship Series Red. We have Adam Anderson and Grave Digger, Tom Minton, Maxi, Bryce King, The Great Coast Monk, where Mark Liss and Altrolico, Tom Duke and Blue Thunder, Cindy Goatee and Lucas Oil Stabilizer, Ryan Disherman and Saigon Shaker, Matt Pegrelu and Justin, Nick Pegrelu and Frank and John Gordon in Bad Company, Jim Gardner Overboard and Covenard in the Black Pearl.
All right, sorry, there. I just had to go get water there. All right, but this story is going to be interesting. Name for a few reasons. And some of the changes we have on this tour is that we do have Tom Manigo and Ryan Anderson being swapped out for Adam Anderson and Bryce Kenny. In the last changes, we have Tom LaDuke driving Blue Thunder. We cannot wait for Blue Thunder here. And this can also mean a revival of Blue Thunder in the World Finals. And also next year, there is some body changes will be made here. As Tom Mensmere says, he's going to be bringing back Maximum Destruction. So it's going to be really, really exciting for Tom Mens here to, to see Tom Mens back in Maximum Destruction. And Tom LaDuke is going to be bringing back Build for Tough Blue Thunder. So Tom LaDuke is really excited. Tom Mens is really excited. Slide in this tour is going to be interesting here to see who can bring home the win here. So we're really, we're really excited. We cannot wait. We cannot wait for this tour to kick off, kick off soon. We're going to return a mark list. It's going to be interesting here. So, yeah. Now, viewers, we're going to be telling you about all the stops for next year. So first off, viewers, we do have on January 1st, first we will be having Stadium Championship Series Yellow being in Tampa, Florida here on the pool table. Then we have January the 7th, we'll have the Arena Championship Series Central being in Baltimore, Baltimore, Maryland with, uh, in a Monster Dirt Arena. And then, then we'll have... Have on January 8th, we have the Arena Championship Series West here going to Salt Lake City on Monster Jam Still Titans 2. January 9th, we have Stadium Championship Series Yellow going to Oakland on Still Titans 2. January 10th, we have Stadium Championship Series Red going to Milwaukee in a Monster Dirt Arena. January 11th, we have Arena Championship Series East going to North Charleston, South Carolina in a Monster Dirt Arena. January the 14th, we have the Arena Championship Series Central going to Kansas City, Missouri in a Monster Dirt Arena. January 15th, we have the Triple with the Arena Championship Series West going to Tacoma, Washington in a Monster Dirt Arena. January 15th, we have Arena Series... We... January 16th, we have... Have Green Championship Series East going to Greensboro, North Carolina on Steel Titans 2. January 17th, we have Stadium Championship Series Yellow going to San Diego on Steel Titans 2. On January 18th, we have Stadium Series Red going to San Antonio, Texas on the pool table. Um, we, then on January 21st, we have the Arena Championship Series West going to Sacramento, California on the Monster Dirt Arena. January 22nd, we have Arena Championship Series East going to Hampton, Virginia on the Monster Dirt Arena. Then next up on January 23rd, we have Stadium Championship Series Yellow going to Anah Anaheim, California on Steel Titans 2. January 24th, we have St. Louis, we're going to have St. Championship Series Red going to St. Louis, Missouri on the pool table. January 28th, we have the Arena Championship Series Central, we're going to New York, New Jersey on the Monster Dirt Arena. On January 29th, we have St. Championship Series Yellow going to Houston, Texas on the pool table. Then for the last show in January, January 30th, we'll, we'll be having a Grand Championship Series East going to Washington, D.C. on the Monster Dirt Arena. Alright, time to start for February. On February 4th, we're going to have the Grand Championship Series Central go to Belmont Park, New York in the Monster Dirt Arena. Jan in February the 5th, we have... Have the Arena Championship Series West going going to the Far Fargo, North Dakota on the Monster Dirt Arena in the Monster Dirt Arena. Then next up on 
Um, on February 6th, we have standing championship series Yellow going to Houston, Texas on the pool table. February the 7th, we have standing championship series Red going to Tampa, Florida on the pool table. Then next up on... On, on February the 8th, we have the Arena Championship Series East going to Providence, Rhode Island on the Monster Dirt Arena. The next day, February, February 9th, 9th, the Arena Championship Series East will go to Providence, Rhode Island on the Monster Dirt Arena. February 11th, we have the trip. We have the Arena Series West going to Denver, Colorado on Steel Titans 2. Then on February 12th, we have Stan Series Red going to Minneapolis, Minnesota on the pool table. Um, then on February 13th, on st the Stan Championship Series Yellow will be going to Glendale, Arizona on Steel Titans 2. And then on February 8th, 18th, the Grand Championship Series East will go to Worcester, Ro Massachusetts on the Monster Dirt Arena. Okay, this is where some of my PowerPoint had had issues, but um. Next up, we have on February 19th, we have Arena Championship Series West going to Oklahoma City, Oklahoma, uh, and on the Monster Dirt Arena. February February the 20th, we have Stan Championship Series Red going to Arlington, Texas, on Steel Titans 2. February 25th. We have the Arena Championship Series. Um, on February 21st, we have the same Championship Series Yellow going to Anaheim, California on Steel Titans 2. February 25th, we have the Arena Championship Series East going to Allentown, Pennsylvania on the Monster Dirt Arena. February 26th, we have the Arena Championship Series Central going to Rosemont, Illinois on the Monster Dirt Arena. February 27th, we have have Steam Championship Series Yellow going back to Anaheim, California on Steel Titans 2. And to end it off in February, we have, have Stadium Championship Series Red going to Detroit, Michigan on Steel Titans 2. Alright, mean, to kick off the month of March, we have... We have on March 1st on it, Arena Championship Series West will be going to Wichita, Kansas on Smosher Jam Steel Titans 2. March 4th, we'll be having the Arena Championship Series Central go to Renault, Nevada on the Monster Dirt Arena. Then on March 5th, we'll have the Arena Championship Series East go to Little Rock, Arizona on the Monster Dirt Arena. No. March 6th, we have, we have State Championship Series Yellow going to El Paso, Texas on the pool table. March 7th, we have State Championship Series Red going to Bil Biloxi, in Mississippi on the Monster, and on the Monster Dirt Arena. March 12th, okay, March 12th, we okay, March 7th, we have, we have, um, Steam Championship Series Red going to Biloxi, Mississippi on the Monster Dirt Arena. And then next up on March 11th, we have, we have Arena Championship Series West going to Nampa, Idaho on the Monster Dirt Arena. March 12th, we have Steam Championship Series Yellow going to Miami, Florida on the pool table. On March 13th, we have, on the Arena Championship Series East, East we have we the Arena Championship Series East on March 13th will be going to Louisville, Kentucky on the Monster Dirt Arena. On March 14th we have the Arena Championship Series Central going to Austin, Texas on the Monster Dirt Arena. March 19th we have Sand Championship Series Yellow going to Tampa, Florida on the pool table. March 20th, we'll have Tampa, no, we'll have the same championship series run once again in Tampa, Florida on the pool table. March 21st, we will be having in the, Mar the 
Monster Dirt Arena will have the Arena Championship Series West in Vancouver. Vancouver on BC. I'm pretty sure it's somewhere in Canada. Alrighty. March 22nd, we do have the Arena Championship Series Central going to Toledo, Ohio in the Monster Dirt Arena. March 23rd, Third, we're going to have Stadium Championship Series Yellow going to Pensacola, Florida in the Monster Dirt Arena. Once again, on March 24th, our Stadium Championship Series Yellow will, going to, will be going to Jacksonville, Florida on the pool table. March 25th, we have the Arena Championship Series East going to Hart Hartford, Kentucky in the Monster Dirt Arena. March 26th, we have the Arena Championship Series Central going to Grand Rapids, Michigan on the Monster Dirt Arena. March 27th, we'll be going to the Arena Championship Series West. We'll be going to Tuscon, Arizona in the Monster Dirt Arena. March 28th, 8th, on March 28th, we have we have in the State Championship Series Yellow going to Huntsville, Alabama on the Monster Dirt Arena. Next up, March 29th, we have the Arena Championship East going to Greensville, South Carolina on the Monster Dirt Arena. And that will be the end of March. Going in on April Fool's Day, April 1st, we have the Arena Championship Series West going to Fresno, California on the Monster Dirt Arena. April 2nd, we'll be having Stan Championship Series Yellow going to Columbia, South Carolina for the Monster Dirt Arena. April 3rd, Arena Championship Series East will be going to Albany, New York on the Monster Dirt Arena. March 4th, we have the Arena Championship Series Central going to Columbus, Ohio for the Monster Dirt Arena. April 8th, we have your Ranch Championship Series Central going to Cincinnati, Ohio on the Monster Dirt Arena. April 9th, we have your Ranch Championship Series West going to Des Moines, Iowa on the Monster Dirt Arena. Now, yes, there is, we know Atlanta Motor Speedway in Seal Titans 2. I don't really know how to do a Speedway stream myself. I can maybe do it either in my living room or outside on my sidewalk. Maybe even in a driveway or at a park on a sidewalk, but I don't know if I have the time to do that, so... So, um, we're just going to pretend that Atlanta Motor Speedway, way on April 10th, Atlanta Motor Speedway on Steel, on Steel Championship Series Yellow will be going to Atlanta Motor Speedway on Steel Titans 2. I know it's not in the game. Hey, who knows? Maybe THK Nordic has, adds it as a DLC coming up in, um... Maybe they had a DLC or at um, Atlanta Motor Speedway. That would be cool. I'd actually like to see that. April 11th, we will have Team Championship Series Yell go to Indianapolis, Indiana on Steel Titans 2. Next, next up on April 15th, we have Arena Championship Series East going to Macon, Georgia on the Monster Dirt Arena. Next up... Next up on April 16th, Stan Championship Series Yellow will be going to Syracuse, New York on the pool table. April 17th, we have Stan Championship Series Yellow going to Philadelphia, uh, Pennsylvania, I think? Yeah, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania uh, on the pool table. April 22nd, we have the Arena Championship Series Central going to Wilkes-Barre, Pennsylvania on Steel Titans 2. April 23rd, we have the Arena Championship Series East going to Evansville, Indiana, on um, the Monster Dirt Arena. April 24th, we have Stan Championship Series Yellow We're going to Hamilton, Ontario, in Canada, on the Monster Dirt Arena. April 25th, we have Stan Championship Series Yellow going to Denver, Colorado, on the pool table. April 26th, we have the Arena Championship Series West going to Moline, Illinois for the Monster Dirt Arena. And then we have on April 29th, for the Arena Championship Series West, we go to Colorado Springs in Colorado oh, on, in the Monster Dirt Arena. Lastly, to end off the month of May, 
May we have um, the month of April. We have April 30th. Stan Championship. Dale will go to East Rutherford, New Jersey for the pool table. Okay, almost done. We're in May now. So, April, May 1st, we're going to be having the Ring Championship Series East go to St. Linus, California, and the Monster Dirt Arena. And then Arena Championship Series East, East on May 6th will be in Charleston, West Virginia on the Monster Dirt Arena. Then Arena Championship Series West will be going to Green Bay, Wisconsin on the Monster Dirt Arena. Then finally, May 13th, we have City Championship Series Yellow going to Al Lopez Park, Park, Florida for... We'll be going to Al Lopez to, to finish this off. Now, viewers, right now, as of now, viewers... We right now have the ending dates for all the tours will be May 13th at Alopez Park. Park will be the ending day for Stan Championship Series Yellow. Um, so here's the dates for all the tour endings. So May 13th is when Stan Championship Series Yellow ends. Stan Cha um, Arena Series West ends May 7th. Arena Series East ends May 6th. Stadium Series Red ends... April 25th, and then the Central Tour ends April 22nd. Now, I finally went through the schedule. May 28th and the 29th are going to be the World Finals. So, guys, the World Finals track, what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try to do the... Uh, well, I originally was going to try to do World Finals 9, but now that I'm think of, thinking about it, I'm going to try to do... do um the all-star challenge track but with a fountain and a mini flip ramp with a different ramp for the mini flip so that's what i'm going to be trying to do you know, but here's some information about the world finals it, i think i'm going to try to do it on the pool table unless they add a world finals dlc with all the world finals tracks on seal titans too but i don't think that's going to be happening but i'm going to try to do it on my pool table and how the world finals will be now, here's the interesting thing. For World Finals this year, whoever gets in, it's going to be based on all the tours. So, the top 23 drivers from all the tours that had the most points, points across all tours, across all the five tours, the top 23 with the most points across all tours will get to go to the World Finals, will get a chance to go to World Finals. People who placed down from 24th, 25th, 26th, 27th, 28th, 29th, 30th, and 31st will all get a chance at the showdown competition. So, yeah, it's going to be interesting here. You know, with, with some tours having more stops than others, it's going to be interesting to see how this will balance out and see... How many, like, there's, there's a lot of stops. There's around the teen range for all of them. They're kind of close, but the Stiella Tour, now the thing I don't hope that happens. Like, I don't want to see, like, all 12 drivers from the, the, um, Stadium Series Yellow all get into the World Finals. Like, like, Preston Present X or current champion in El Toro Loco. Not to discredit them, but I don't think they're going to be ready for the World Finals yet. I don't think they will be making it in this year, probably. But I hope that doesn't, that's the one thing I hope doesn't happen. So, um, yeah, you can get a, and guys in the stands, you have an opportunity to up to 36 points per show. In the arenas, you have an up to 32. And you see, they're close, so it's going to be close and identical. And yeah, here's, that's the end of this. This schedule announcement. This this so I mean my voice hurts hurts viewers, but you better viewers better be excited for the 2022 Monster Jam season. It's going to be big, it's going to be long, and viewers will see you guys next time.